film like you couldn't figure it out in about 18 seconds. <laughs> He's a cocktail maker. Ooh. Pretty good cocktail maker, too, till he has a crisis of confidence and can't make cocktails anymore. Then he meets a good-looking woman who talks him into being a better cocktail maker. What a riveting piece of cinema that was. Then he was a race car driver. He's a pretty good race car driver, too. Until he had a crisis of confidence and couldn't race cars anymore. <laughs> then I believe he met a good-looking woman who talked him into being a better race car driver. <laughs> then he was a jet pilot. <laughs> pretty good jet pilot, too. Until he had a crisis of confidence. Some of you are starting to see a pattern emerge here. <laughs> pretty good jet pilot. Yes, he was. Then he met a good-looking woman who talked him into being a better jet pilot. Then he was a... A Vietnam veteran, he was a pretty fucking good Vietnam veteran until he had a crisis of confidence and realized he wasn't such a good Vietnam veteran. And then I believe he met a good-looking woman who talked him into being a bit. Then the last film, I think he was a Samurai Civil War soldier. And he was a pretty fucking good Samurai Civil War soldier. In fact, I think he was the only Samurai Civil War soldier until he met a good-looking... He could be a Scrabble player in the next film and it wouldn't matter. Pretty good Scrabble player. Until he fails to draw any vowels, has a crisis of consonants. Then he meets a lovely Welsh woman who teaches him a lot of words he's never heard before with no fucking vowels in them whatsoever. All I'm saying is you can't compare your relationship, sir, with Tom Cruise. I'm not saying you are, but that was my point, right? Anyway, uh, you've been a lovely...